With the firing of Bevel and Cable, the Seahawks offensive coaching staff is undergoing a hefty rebuild. Let's start with Bevel, in charge of an underachieving offense. His top running back rushed for 240 yards, good for 85th in the NFL. His $10 million tight end finished second among all receivers in drops and apparently couldn't block the sun with his hand. This is the same tight end who the Seahawks got by trading their all-pro center and offensive captain Max Unger back in 2015. Some would argue that trade was the beginning of the end for the Hawks' offensive line. Left tackle Russell Okun left the following year. That season, the Hawks finished 25th in rushing, and this past season, they finished 23rd. Take away Russell Wilson's nearly 600 yards rushing, and they would have finished dead last. If you want to argue Russell's mobility was part of the offense, that's fine. Take away 400 of his 600. They still would have finished last. So is Bevel completely to blame for a sluggish offense? No. Neither is Cable, who thought he was getting a front-line running back in Eddie Lacy. Nope. At times, Cable showed his frustration over the lack of availability of oft-injured Thomas Rawls and C.J. Proceis. Chris Carson showed promise, and Mike Davis did a credible job, but one look at the running backs is a reminder the coaching staff isn't the only group that needs an overhaul. On the other side of the ball, defense coordinator Chris Richard has apparently been encouraged to look for other opportunities, so he, too, could be on his way out. Seahawks coaching staff had a heck of a run, but with the reemergence of the Rams and 49ers, the NFC West will only grow stronger in the years ahead. Cardinals head coach Bruce Arians may have called it a career at just the right time. Fortunately for Seahawks fans, all the moves and pending moves show Pete Carroll is saddling up for another ride.